we did find a few photos when we got back, and I can tell you this. Apparently everyone had a bloody good time. And I mean, there was a shitload of alcohol drunk, and about six or seven strippers, I reckon. By the looks of it too, they were all fitting up, which is always a good thing when you're in Bangkok. <laughs> but Mick, you know, I am your best man, and I'm your best mate, you know that. So, you know, any, any woman that you choose to spend the rest of your life with, well, you know, that's alright by me, I'll, I'll stand by you. And as someone who's been married three times already, tonight, <laughs> I can pass on a bit of wisdom and a bit of advice to you. Now apparently, you've only got 72 hours until you can still lodge an ominous. <laughs> Believe me, I went that one hard way. If you are going to stick it out there, mate, just remember that, you know, the longer you stay together with her, the messier it gets. So. <laughs> oh, I know that from experience. <laughs> uh, ladies, actually, ladies and gentlemen, actually, I had planned to go on a bit longer, so I had a few more stories up my sleeve, but Bride's giving me this sort of gesture like this. I think she means to cut my speech short, so I better pass you on now to the father of the bride. But before I do, it is customary to make a toast, so I would like you all to raise your glasses again. I propose a toast to me, the best man. <laughs> and to my mate Mick. May he finally get happiness when he fixes the mistake he's making tonight. Thank you everyone. <laughs>
his speech, that's my point for improvement, and it comes back to gestures, which was a key part of the speech. The wine glass. You held the wine glass in your hand the whole time, which played in character with the speech. You also had your hand in your pocket, but you had your hand on your hips. I think you missed a few opportunities there to use the gestures. You could have put the wine glass down. Ah, oh, you didn't want to spill it, number one. But number two, when you're talking about the bridesmaid, you could have said, hey, you're a beautiful bridesmaid. You could have used your hand gestures like that. But you couldn't do anything because your hand was tied up um, in, with your glass. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to go off subject here. When um, David did his table topics, what he did straight away is he had this biro in his hand and he brought our attention to the biro. And then he got rid of the biro. And then during the next table topics, he actually used powerful hand gestures like this. He used the fist, he communicated, he pulled us in with his hand gestures. I didn't feel that in your speech with hand gestures. The only part I got with was the lingo and the toast throughout the speech. So I just think that you probably limited your opportunity. So it's a point for improvement. What did I like about the presentation? I said I like the character that you used and you kept it going through the whole way, which is extremely hard to do. I love the opening, I love the closing. One other point for improvement, swearing. Okay? I don't believe you should swear at Toastmasters. You should use different words. If you're at a toast on a real formal occasion, you're out there, you use swear words. Okay? But in Toastmasters itself, I don't believe you should use swear words, okay? Because you don't want to offend anyone in the audience here, okay? We are, the occasion here is Toastmasters. It's not our thing on a, on, a, on a particular activity. You could use different words, which would probably have the same meaning, okay? Um, but all in all, I really enjoyed the speech, and I look forward to hearing speech number six. Thank you.